Hi, welcome to MIG Monday. Today I want to talk about maybe just a little bit of a sidestep from MIG welding, because uh, I know a lot of people that do home hobby welding, sometimes it's just repairs, but I know there's a good number of you out there that are into more heavier hobby type things, building things, uh, and typically uh, you have to cut material to fit it. So I want to talk a little bit about a home plasma cutter. Here I have the Longevity Force Cut 40D. Um, like a lot of the MIG welding machines, the number, in this case 40, uh, is kind of an indication of the amperage or the thickness uh, that you can cut with a plasma cutter. There's kind of a rule of thumb, uh, you could cut like one thousandths per amp. So what we've got is a 40 that's a 0.4, not quite a half an inch of thickness that this is capable of cutting. Um, it's very simple to set. All you need is an air hose connected to a compressor. Dial in the proper setting on the air pressure, and then you've got a control for the amperage that you're going to set. The less, you know, on thinner material, you can set it down to a small or lesser number. I have it up near the top because I cut a bunch of different thicknesses, so rather than run back to the machine all the time to adjust it, this is going to be thin, this is going to be thick, I pretty much almost have it maxed out all the time and just make my cuts. Some of the advantages of plasma cutting, one, it cuts any conductive material, including aluminum, which if you're using oxy fuel to do your cutting, you know that you can't do that. Uh, it doesn't require any preheating of the material like it does with oxy fuel to kind of start your cut. This is just pull the trigger and go. Um, it doesn't require any gas, so you don't have to worry about getting your acetylene and your oxygen and all that kind of stuff. All we need for this is an air compressor uh, that, and, uh, and, a, and, a, and a place to plug it in, and you're ready to go. It cuts any material quickly and pretty much easily. So what I want to show you here is I'm just going to cut a couple pieces of this thin material just to show you how quickly this can cut. All I have to do is have it grounded just like any weld. Okay. And I'm going to just cut off a piece here. And, uh, and then when we're done with that, we'll, we'll try some other things. We'll try some other cuts as well. Okay. Here we go. There you go. Quick cut. No hacksawing. Works really well. Let's do, do another one. That beats a hacksaw any day. So that's thin material, and you can do that if your heart's content. You can cut out patterns. doesn't really matter. What I want to try now, sometimes things aren't just little flat material, which are pretty easy to do. What I'm going to try to do is cut this. I've, had, I've got this uh, fillet tacked up, uh, but it's way too long. I just want to cut it into little sections for demonstration purposes in future episodes. So what I'm gonna do is just kind of cut off some of this, but you kind of have to figure out how do you attack a cut like this, this is kind of complex. Well, I guess there's many ways to do it. The way I kind of choosing to do it here is merely to, I'm gonna cut across the bottom piece first, and then once I've made that cut, then I'm gonna turn it over and I'll cut through the top web, okay? I'm also going to cut through where I have a tack weld so it doesn't fall apart once I cut it. All right, here we go. Okay, I made the cut on the bottom. Let's see that. And now I'm going to cut down the, through the web. Thank you. 
All right, that was way quicker than a hacksaw. And one of the things when you do make a cut, what you'll notice, you can see the melted material on the edges of the weld. It's called dross. The beauty of plasma cutting, a couple of hits and that comes right off. So you end up with a pretty nice clean weld. Ready for whatever usage you're gonna do. So that's plasma cutting. It can be a real nice addition to the home workshop, especially if you have a lot of material that you have to cut and piece together. So, all right. Any questions can be addressed to the forum, and uh, we'll see you next time on MIG Monday.